GeoWeb. Some technologies can significantly simplify road construction and extend its lifespan. Among them is GeoWeb. It's a two-dimensional or three-dimensional net made of strips of polyester or polyethylene fabric. By stretching the grid on the ground in front of the asphalt, a stable frame is formed. The spaces are filled with soil, gravel or sand, and then the asphalt is laid from the top. This technology is widely used in road and rail construction. Due to the fact that the weight load is distributed more evenly, cracks in the road surface are reduced. This significantly increases the time between repairs. GeoWeb reinforces the base of the road, stabilizing the terrain. The use of GeoWebs in places with weak bases makes it possible to build roads in places where, at first glance, it seems impossible. Smart Crossing To reduce the number of pedestrian traffic accidents on UK roads, it was decided to use the modern Smart Crossing technology. It was first tested in the streets of London on October 5, 2017. Special cameras are hung on the roads to identify people, cyclists and cars, analysing and tracking their movements. The road has special panels that react instantly to the movements of people, creating additional pedestrian paths, warning drivers. If a person accidentally strays off the pedestrian walkway and enters the road, a luminous area forms that attracts the attention of drivers, allowing them to stop their car in time. Intuitive road lighting with different colors also helps to remind you of road rules. Rumble Strips Many traffic accidents occur every year because drivers are distracted from the road or fall asleep behind the wheel. Rumble Strip technology can solve this problem and significantly reduce the number of accidents. These furrows on the road are located on the dividing strip and in front of the road. The depth of the grooves, as well as the distance between them, are adjusted in such a way that the car starts to vibrate and produces a loud sound, warning the driver. This technology was used for the first time on Minnesota's highways. The reduction in accidents proved effective. Overall, the number of accidents decreased by 29%. The number of fatal accidents decreased by 51%. It should be noted that rumble strips not only save lives, but it's also an economic system. In the coming years, a similar system of slots will be installed on an even greater number of new or upgraded roads, where the speed limit is 88 km per hour or more. Dancing Traffic Light Researchers have shown that people don't like to wait, and that very often, traffic accidents occur when pedestrians try to cross the street with the red light. The task of the creators of the Dancing Traffic Light was to cheer up the pedestrians and make the waiting less boring. When the red man at the traffic light suddenly starts dancing, people's attention are drawn to him and they stop to look. However, this little man's dance moves are not a recording. Near the traffic lights, there's a special booth where anyone can enter and dance to the music. A special program captures the dance moves, records them, and then, in real time, transmits them to the traffic light. In total, 81% more people stop at the crosswalk and wait for the green light to appear. Tactile Pavement The installation of tactile plates in the city streets makes the movement of blind and visually impaired people simpler and safer. These plates have a very different appearance. The differences, which may seem insignificant to the average person, are in fact of great importance. 
Each element in the pathway is related to a certain pattern, which gives the blind person information about what is in front of them. For example, a trellis with parallel joints to each other means that there's an inclined curb and a pedestrian crossing ahead. If the grid is red, people with visual impairment can distinguish the basic colors. Traffic stops at the press of a special button. First, the grids are installed in a narrow strip to indicate the approach to the crosswalk. In front of the road, the number of grids increases, showing the size of the pedestrian route, as well as the start and the end. Grating with beveled points is used on railway platforms. The lines on the other side of the road point to a staircase or steps in front of you. Lines along the road mark a safe way to move around. Intelligent speed bumps. The disadvantage of speed reducers is that even if the driver slows down to cross, there is a jolt and the car receives a small but additional load. Smart speed reducers don't have that problem. The secret is a special filling. The liquid that's placed inside the speed reducer contains solid particles that react to pressure. If the car passes through such a structure at low speed, the filling remains liquid and the reducer bends under the weight of the car without causing excessive shaking. However, if the car passes through the structure at high speed, the liquid hardens and the speed reducer becomes an obstacle that cannot be ignored. Drones repair roads. In recent years, the use of drones in road construction has increased. In 2017, a model that helps to repair roads faster by reducing human participation was presented. The creator assures that in the future, this technology will work in the following way. First, the road is blocked, after which the unmanned plane rises into the air and scans the road. The air vehicle is capable of automatically identifying damage on the road. After that, the drone lands at the damage site and fills the pothole or pit with pre-prepared material, such as asphalt or tar. In addition, the drone sprays the patch with special chemicals that extend the life of the asphalt and delay the need for further repair. In addition to the road, these drones can analyze the soil surface as well. The machine flies over the designated area, collecting spatial data and information about how stable the soil is. printed bridge. In October 2015, the company MX3D launched an innovative project for the construction of a bridge using 3D technologies in Amsterdam. The protagonist of the project is an industrial robot. Typically, this robot is used on assembly lines in the automotive industry. However, this model was equipped with a welding machine and special software. The finished steel bridge is 12 meters long and designed exclusively for pedestrians. The creators say this design is just the first step in creating more complex 3D construction projects. Road Stabilizing Contractor Australian companies are working on ways to maintain and repair roads economically and environmentally friendly. The solution they offer is low-cost, highly effective and eco-friendly. Instead of throwing away the old asphalt, the SPA company devised a special way of processing it, so that after installing it a second time, it can be used and continue working for another 20 years. The video shows the reconstruction of Mitchell Road in Cronulla in the suburbs of Sydney. The company's representatives say they carefully control the work of the device on the road, right down to the final touch. In order to obtain a dense, smooth coating at a low price and of high quality.
Guys, it's time to recharge your brain. Visit the channel Brain Time. There you'll find a lot of interesting and useful facts, lots of positive energy, and tons of useful information. Subscribe right now. We promise it's going to be really exciting.